The first day high school athletes can practice in North Carolina ahead of the upcoming season. Very exciting time and it's going to be a hot one, but schools in our area follow some strict guidelines to keep student athletes safe in these brutal conditions. Faith Alford live in University City with more on that. Faith. Alex and Mary, I think this is the best time to have practice. If you ask me, I know it's early. I'm here outside of Julia's Chamber High School. We've been waiting all morning for the coaches and students to arrive, but they haven't arrived just yet. I have been hearing the sprinklers behind me, so it's going to be a busy day for them. Now, what we can tell you here is that the state high school athletic association has laid out some guidelines that schools are required to abide by. Now they have to take what's called a wet bulb globe temperature every hour beginning 30 minutes before every practice there will be water stations and plenty of opportunities for players to take breaks now there are other surrounding practicing and playing in the heat now there must be a certified athletic trainer or first responder on site and they have to begin with shorter less intense practices and training which I'm sure they'll do today and minimize protective gear like pads and helmets during these first few days and they really want coaches and players to recognize those early early signs of distress, weakness, nausea, headaches, and lightheadedness. And South Carolina teams started on Friday, and we spoke with the head coach at Catawba Ridge. He told us safety is number one. And, you know, as coaches, our job is to take care of these young men. We've watched the videos. We're certified in how to keep them healthy. We got water breaks scattered, scat, uh, scattered into our practice. Um, you know, in South Carolina, we got two days in helmets, two days in shoulder pads to let the boys get used to that heat. So it is hot. Uh, in the end, it's not going away. We got to learn to deal with it. Now practice is going to be starting early today, so we're going to be checking in with schools from all around our area, and we'll bring you those updates later this evening. Live in Charlotte, Faith Alford, WBTV, on your side.